Welcome to Crimson Guitars. I've no idea why I'm hitting my bench except for the fact that I'm excited because I have a box here from BC Woodworks. Yes, that's the right way around. Uh, Brian is a fantastic craftsman and uh, so fantastic in fact that he's uh, also built uh, a, a base at the very least that is just stunning. Um, f just insane. If you, uh, yeah. Ask him for photos, it's awesome. Uh, but anyway, yeah, anytime I get a package from him, it's, it's a day to celebrate. Now, uh, I, I'm gonna stop talking. We, we don't often, there we go, knife, knife. We don't often do unboxing videos anymore because uh, we just don't do as many unboxing videos. Why is that? I don't know. It's a, it's part of the weekend workshop, and uh, and there we go, the BC Woodworks, with compliments. Um, okay, we have a couple of show things. Apparently, he's going to be at the London Guitar Show with us. Uh, what is it? Sunday, the 29th of October, 2017. He'll be there, and uh, uh, there's a flyer in here. So the North of England Woodworking and Power Show as well. Uh, 17th and 18th of November and the 19th and the 19th there we go three-day show anyway the best thing about BC Woodworks is you always no matter who the client is you always get a letter let me tell you a quick story I was uh, at the Yandels woodworking show I'm standing there talking to him and a client came up to me and, uh, and mentioned oh by the way I've bought some BC Woodwork stuff as well. And Brian sort of turned around and said, oh, what did you have? And this guy rattled off about three tools, the, 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 one of the mallets, I think, for example. And Mr. BC Woodwork said, Jim, Jim, what, 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 et cetera, whatever. Basically, he rattled off the guy's name. He remembered from what he'd made for him what his name was. And he's, at that point, had had about two or 300 orders for bespoke tools, and he remembered the dude's name. I can't remember my own name. Um, <laughs> I have my children's names tattooed here, so I won't forget, all right? Anyway, um, woohoo. Okay, I'm gonna read that after we've done the unboxing, just so that we don't ruin the surprise. We get lots of free bubble wrap, which is just awesome. Okay. He's really going all out, look at this. So, heirloom and tools, heirloom and tools. What the hell am I talking about? Um, aftercare for steel. That's really nice. You're gonna have to get some close-ups of that. And we have, I think, I think we have competition. This is, um, making me oh he sent me some some yorkshire grit wood turners abrasive paste this stuff i've been hearing a lot about this um it's basically replaces sandpaper uh, when you're doing wood turning and i've just taken up wood turning uh, okay we i don't know one two three four there's four tools in here and another letter. Okay. Well, let us zoom in and see what's happening. Okay, come on then. This is so fun. I don't like, I don't like ripping. Oh, come on then. Let's just rip into it. But it is. Oh, look at that. My gosh. So at this point, Okay, I think I know what we have here. Hmm. 
I just can't stop. Ah, just rip open. Oh, look at these. This is, this is incredible. So we have Paduk, we have Brass, and, and I just want to get it open. Ooh, is that, is that Kingwood or Ovencoll? Uh, maybe Ovencoll. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we can open the little one. Or should I leave it till later? Now let's open it up. I'm intrigued. I know the packaging isn't that important, but it really is. Okay, the package is smaller than the sticker almost. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Crikey. My gosh. All right, okay. Um, <coughs> I don't know what to say here. I'm gonna read this quickly. Uh, precision hammer. This precision hammer has been crafted entirely by hand using traditional tools and techniques in the heart of Leicestershire, England. Uh, the head has been turned from brass. It has a flat face at one end, whilst the opposing end is convex and finalized with a mirror polish for a lustrous shine. Uh, Paduk and Bukote, I got the wood wrong. Uh, have been selected for the ergonomic handles. Uh, guitar finishing oil is applied for depth, polished with shellac, and finish, finally topped with canuba wax. This is a hammer for precise and subtle work where a steel face would be detrimental to the piece or tool. Um, I'm assuming... Oh, and here we have a, a letter about the Yorkshire grit. Uh, so go to yorkshire-grit.com. Uh, the dawn of a new standard in abrasive grits. We'll talk about that in a second because that stuff is properly awesome. Uh, I had a, I was at the record uh, stand for a recent woodworking show, uh, talking to a lot of turners, and every single one of them asked me if I'd used Yorkshire grit yet. So, yeah, it's it's an up and coming uh, product of awesomeness. So, well, I mean. Damn it, man. At Crimson Guitars, we're trying to make, I'm working through prototypes of hammers and things, and you've just blown us out of the water. Um, these are fantastic. We're gonna have to up our game here. I can't believe, yeah, okay. So we have a couple here in particular that would be ideal as uh, plain adjustment hammers for when you're working with uh, uh, older, um, uh, tools without lateral adjustment, wooden tools, etc. It's it's absolutely, absolutely perfect and feels incredibly comfortable. Um, of course, it's finished in, in guitar finishing oil, and that definitely helps uh, with the luster and the quality and the. <laughs> However, this is really really awesome. It they've got a good feel to them. I read the letter and saw that the packages were that narrow and thought, oh, he sent the wrong letter. He sent a letter about a precision hammer, but it's, it's obviously too small to, to be that. But, um, well, these are stunning. Um, not too heavy. I, I, wa I wanna wail against something, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm intrigued about how he's actually managed to, to make that. The wood doesn't go through the end, you see, which uh, would normally be the case. So as a blind hole, I'm assuming it's, it's epoxied and pinned, maybe? Would you look at that? Okay. Um, look, as is always the case, whenever 
I get uh, something from BC Woodworks. It is just absolutely sublime. And he's getting better and better, not only at the presentation, uh, although he's had that spot on pretty much from the beginning as well, but uh, the ideas and the tools and the quality of what he's making. I use, well, you can see, this is my, this is my mallet that I've had for years. And uh, I don't use it anymore. These are the ones I use all the time. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's just one of those things. You get absolutely sublime quality from them. Uh, I'm not gonna wax lyrical. I'm going to move on to Yorkshire Grit, which is a wax-based substance, which is why that was so funny to me. Anyway, this stuff. Uh, wood turner's abrasive paste. I have actually had people asking me if I would consider using it on a guitar. And apparently, uh, it's as well as being an abrasive, i.e. sanding out scratches and stuff, it does add a certain, just a, a little bit of finish, missed, uh, to the material. There we go. So, I mean, that looks like a wax. Anyway, I'll have a quick read of this. So, in the ever-continuing quest for better and more refined abrasion and minimized dust levels, here is a product from the wood turning world that I think your eyes should be drawn to, Yorkshire Grit. I've been using this paste for several months now and it's on virtually every piece that leaves my lathe. It works especially well on very dense woods like blackwood, cocobolo, kingwood, etc. Uh, not only wood, but I polish pure aluminium, copper and brass with it too. That's insane. Uh, I feel it would be an exceptional tool for the abrasive arsenal, whether rubbed by hand or used with a slow speed mop. Uh, here's a tub for you to test, experiment and play around with. I'd be really interested to see how you would use this paste in a luthier's workshop. Uh, I've also included Glenn's business, da 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 da. So there we go. And there's a data sheet in here for the paste as well. I have been hearing good things about it already, so, uh, well, it's like liquid sandpaper. <laughs> well, it's Christmas. I'm going home now. I, I need to get to my lathe. Um, in all seriousness, I mean, these hammers are fantastic. I, I use our fret leveling hammer a lot for sort of plane adjustments and stuff. And we've made and are making a sort of a range of our own, um, sort of similarly, uh, similarly made, although CNC'd rather than lathed hammers. Um, but this is Brian's way of sort of trying to get us to up our game a little bit and uh, give me something awesome to aim for. Um, that is fantastic. I need to find something now that needs adjusting with a fine hammer. What, what can I hit? What can I hit? Who can I hit? Thank you for watching. I don't know what my bench did to me, but I'm beating it anyway. Please check out BC Woodworks. I always forget their website. I think it's just the BC Woodworks uh, .co.uk or bcwoodworks.com. Email him at thebcwoodworks at gmail.com. Thebcwoodworks at gmail.com. For fine hand tools, once again, the BC Woodworks. I, <laughs> I listen to a lot of podcasts and uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, that thing going on. Um, the BC Woodworks, traditional wood turner in Leicester. Uh, bespoke heirloom, heirloom, heirloom. I totally can't say that anymore. Hand tools and tool restoration, perfect handcrafted gifts, bowls, da 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 da, etc. No jobs too big, no jobs too small. I've got wood. What more can we say? I've got to go and hit something. Or someone. Three some. Thank mm -hmm. you.